Okay, so this is going to be the first video in a series of videos that I'm planning. And uh, that's going to be all about how to create new custom sounds within Contact 5. But before we get there, I just won't... Hang on. I just want to go through a couple of things first. Because I've made this video before, but there was a lot of confusion about a couple of things. And hopefully this video right here will clear all that up for you. And what I'm talking about is the output section and how to route your signals out of contact and into independent channels in Pro Tools so that you can EQ them and compress them independently without having to use the the built-in effects in contact. But as we go along, we're also going to look at that and how to use those and whatever. This first video is going to be how to route your output section here and how to set it up the way you want to and route it out and make it work exactly like you want to. So this is the output section and it has currently eight stereo channels out of contact plus these auxes that you can't delete. They will always be there no matter what because that's how many auxes the mixer within Contact 5 has and you can't delete them. But you can delete these channels here and probably when the first time you open Contact 5 you're just going to have stereo 1 and these four auxes. So we're going to revert from this preset that I've set up or this default uh, preset that so every time I start contact 5 it shows up like this but just because I've set it up like that so we're gonna revert it back to the initial default setting with just one stereo out channel and the four auxes so to do that you can delete all of these independently like this or you can just press add channels and then how many channels you want and I only want to make one because I want to revert it to the initial default setting and I want that to be a stereo channel so you need two channels within this channel you can move it down to one and make mono channels but we want stereo channels right now and you can press this not connected button and that gives you the list of outputs that you have and just to make sure that you understand what I mean down here these buttons here you can choose which channel you want to output it to <laughs> so because I have this preset I already have all of these eight stereo channels lined up in here but you may not have that it may say just stereo one one and stereo one two which basically means left and right and and also the uh, four auxes here but have no fears we're gonna we're gonna make all of this right so if you press add channels you can say okay I wanna make one new stereo channels and I want that to have two channels out so it's left and right a stereo channel I want it to be connected to the first stereo channel on my sound card and I want ascending output assignments so that it automatically maps out the rest of the channels and you can press this button because that's the whole point of of doing it this way instead of going in there and deleting all of these channels you can just press delete existing channels before creating the new ones so if you check that it's gonna delete all of these and make this one new channel and I also want to make this my default configuration so that when I open it next time it won't have this mess right here it's just gonna open with this one stereo channel out <clears throat> of contact 5 and you'll see what I mean and so he says output configuration was saved as default okay that's great and this is what we have now and if we go back you can see that it still has all of these channels mapped out but he won't really understand what's going on because we only have one 
channel in the output section of contact itself. So what we're going to do now is to initialize contact 5, command save it, and quits Pro Tools, and then restart it. Yep. Restart. Skip. This is Pro Tools 11, so he won't use my Waves plugins because it's 64 bit. Yeah, whatever. So we're going to open this last, the most recent project. If I can. What's this? What is this? Okay. So we open it back up, and you can see now that we only have this stereo one and the four oxes, just like we left it. You can go in here, and you'll see that now it only has this one output channel and the four oxes, just like it would be if this was the first time I opened contact. So just press OK. Now we're going to make a new preset, because now it's initialized, and... Now we're going to start over and make the same preset that I already had. So you add channels, you make it 8, or however many you want, you can probably make 50. You can actually make 64 channels within contact, but we only need 8. And we want those to be stereo channels, and I want to connect it to the stereo one of my um, sound card or host output. I want to delete the existing channels before he makes the eight new ones and I want to make this my default configuration again. Okay, so now we have all of these eight channels but he runs out of outputs after nine and ten because we only had that one stereo one and the four oxes that's five channels and that's what he has. So now we have to make um, let's just see what happens if we open this one and you see that's on aux 4 already so it's, that's not enough so we just cancel that we initialize contact 5 again and we save or hang on let me just do this again because you can do it from here too he asked you on the add channels if you wanted to make this your default configuration but let's just make sure that he really does. So go over here to save current output section state as default for all formats. And uh, command save again, initialize contact five, and let's start this whole thing over again. Uh, yes, we do want to save. So it's closed. Let's try to open it back up and see what happens this time because I'm pretty sure he's going to have all those eight new channels at the ready for us. But we'll see. Sometimes there's problems, and all you can do is just start over. Do it again. Okay, so let's go over here to the sixth channel. Check it out. Stereo 6. It's mapped out to Stereo 5 but we want it to be stereo 6 and now you can see that all of these new channels are here for us. So just map this to stereo 6 and this to stereo 6 2. You can press these buttons here to get to the next channel. Now it's stereo 7 and you just map it out like that to stereo 7, stereo 8 to stereo 8 and then the auxes to the aux channels that has been there all along. aux2 to aux2, 3, of course, to number 3, and then finally aux4, which goes to aux4, and you just press OK. So now everything is mapped out to its own individual channels. You got 24 channels now because 8 plus 4 is 12 but we have 12 stereo channels so we need 24 mono channels and let's just save that again and we can go in here and we can make 
or actually let's just make a couple of instruments first so we want this organ here let's say that and we want uh, some uh, West Africa stuff this one yeah just close this up so that we have some more space and rumba oh yeah so here we have two instruments loaded into contact 5 you can see that the audio output which is the top one is routed out to stereo 1 which is this channel right here and the second one West Africa rumba is also mapped out to stereo 1 and they have MIDI channel 1 and MIDI channel 2. We want to put this to stereo 2 so that basic rock organ, the one you can hear right now, will be mapped out to this channel right here, stereo 1. And the second one is going to be routed out to this channel right here. But it doesn't have an input in Pro Tools yet because we haven't made it. So we can do that right now by pressing shift command n and it's going to be a stereo instrument track and we can put that to receive from plug in contact 5's channel 2 and we also wanted to send information to contact midi channel 2 so now this channel here is sending MIDI information from when you hit your keyboard into this channel right here, which is converting it to audio and sending it back out to contact 5's output 2. And that is sending out to this uh, track right out here. So if I press record and hit a button, you should hear the sound of this instrument right here. And then I switch that to instrument one, and you should hear the organ. And you do. So that means everything works fine. Let's just try to make a couple of new instruments to make sure that we really have what we want. Just change that to stereo three, MIDI channel three, that's fine. We have to make a new one out here. Stereo instrument track. We can make that receive from stereo three. And something happened up here for some reason. That's stereo two. So if I press this button now, you should hear the drum kit. Okay, you didn't. Three, one, two, three. Oh, okay, so he created the third. Sorry about that. This should say contact stereo two. This should say contact stereo three. And this says sending to one and two that means channel two that's correct this one needs to send to channel three it's MIDI information and it receives the audio signal back from uh, contact stereo three so now it should be working yeah you can even now drag this loop from from studio drummer and place it in here and it should work fine. Yep, and then you can even go up here and play the organ. So hopefully this video made it a little more clear how to deal with the output section within Contact 5 and route it out to independent channels and all that good stuff.